What's up, everyone except for Wiser? I'm a little bit irritated this morning because for the past few Wiser installs, I've had an issue, and we're going to talk about that. Okay, we're going to make an example out of those guys because... This is just this is just a dumb problem to have. All right, now we all know why is there switched over to look at that. That's new. Uh, we all know that why is there switched over to the quick set style a number of years ago when Black and Decker bought them. And you know that that at first was just like, all right, that's that's fine, like whatever. I understand. Y'all need to get machining down differently or whatever the case is. So, you know, now we have to deal with the typical quick set style. Now we'll note, like everything about it is made the same. However, some of the stuff like the face plates just seem a little bit nicer and that, that doesn't really make a difference. But, you know, all in all, they're basically a quick set with just a thicker keyway. We've talked about this in, in a number of videos. No big deal there. And if we see this particular version, which is the York, and it's the same on the Beverly, we have, uh, Beverly uses this conical style knob. All right, same thing, just a different shape. And it really just depends on kind of what you had before. These are, these mimic quick set pretty much in every way. And, and the problem comes into, we see we just have the two standard holes that you put the screws through. The problem comes into play when you want to replace the Troy or the Phoenix or a beefier knob. These, while, you know, they're perfectly fine, you know, they are smaller doorknobs. The problem comes into it when you have the bigger knobs. When people want the bigger kind of heavier, I don't know, feel better in your hand, doorknobs, right? So the problem comes into play is that they change, and this is an exact instance of what I'm talking about. Instead of just being able to screw your screws in, presumably because the knob's so thick and they don't want people trying to angle. So they adopted Quickset's idea on this open slot style thing where the screws come pre-installed. You put it on the door like this and you come in and then and you do this. Okay, so this has also been around for a while. No big deal. I personally can't stand this because uh, it's just a dumb way to do. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's dumb necessarily, but uh, a lot of people have trouble with it. But this, this is what we're talking about in this video right here. This stupid, uh, whatever you call this, trim cover plate. Now, look, look at this. You can see it immediately. Like, it doesn't even cover that all the way. And I've had some considerable, probable, considerable problems on site where I take this and I come in and I put it down like that. You know, you get it on the door and you're like, sweet, I can switch this out. No problem, put it in, tighten the screws down, and guess what? This just pops off freely, and it won't stay tight. People walk up to the door a few days later, and then they're like, look at this crap the locksmith sold me. That is driving me crazy more than anything else in the world. It really doesn't affect much on the outside, even though if we look at this, we can see... You know, what's I think what they intended for is when it tightens down on the door, right, it compresses just a bit. See how that's got that little got that little bit of play in it. So presumably they're expecting it when it tightens down on the door for this to actually cover up the rest and bite into it. The outside trim I've noticed is fine. However, the inside trim is not. And that has led me for the past several wiser installs to having to get on site put this like this and then like take a screwdriver and tap down on this little detent which is supposed to be in the problem is is yeah the outside tightens down on the door and holds this brass trim the inside when it gets tight 
it doesn't it doesn't hold that because the screw pressure is actually putting all its energy into this metal plate and it's not doing anything to this so what happens is you get there and turn and then and then it either pops right off immediately and you go ahead and you paint it down and you know who knows how long the this part where i take a screwdriver and whack it down to try to bend it over enough so that it doesn't automatically pop off but who knows how long that's going to hold it may hold forever or as long as the life of the doorknob it may not but this is the stupidest most ridiculous problem that a doorknob should have that shouldn't be a problem with the doorknob. And as I've mentioned in other videos, even though these master doorknobs are thinner metal, this is gonna have to be my go-to for a bigger doorknob now. I'm gonna have to stop selling Wiser because I've had that style of Wiser simply because of a stupid problem. This is a dumb problem, Wiser. If anybody with Black & Decker or Wiser or whatever is watching, you see that? That's a dumb problem to have with the doorknob. I can understand, you know, after years of use, you notice, oh, hey, the half moon shape cuts into the la or the, the latch cuts into this and, and makes it go back. You know, that's just kind of one of those things. But not being able to put on a doorknob well because of a loose rosette that won't tighten down is just a dumb problem to have. Therefore, master biscuit knobs, BC, there's a couple of different shapes of these. Uh, let's take a look at one just because it's part of the video. Uses a square style latch and post system so you don't have to worry about what I just mentioned with the with the sharp edge. See that, that metal sharp edge right there? What that does is it cuts a little groove because it goes through right here and cuts a nice little groove into it because of that. So that is kind of a dumb problem too, but Quick has been around forever with this style. So that's a dumb problem that we're used to. You can see the master. Again, it is, it's thinner brass. That's the only thing. I wish they would increase it even by just a little bit. But look, look. Listen to the loud truck. But you see how it's, it's over, it's folded over. That does not come off. It's folded over. Take a hint. Wiser that this is, absolutely ridiculous problem why don't you try fixing that wiser anyway if you agree with this make sure and hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh yeah we'll catch you next video